and welcome to Animals and Birds with Anirudh. Today I am going to be talking about my trip to Anantgiri Hills. If you want to know where we did birding in Anantgiri, you can comment down in the comment section. And uh, the gear I used in this trip was the Sigma 150 to 600 millimeter lens and the Canon 1200D and the binoculars were 20x Celestron binoculars. So we woke up early and reached the hills. The view to the hills was very scenic. There is a staircase leading down to the birding area and on the staircase we saw a huge group of oriental white eyes. We also saw a nest We saw lots of coppersmith barbets, but they were very far away. Although this juvenile was giving me beautiful poses up close. I also saw this purple rumped sunbird. In the shot, the butterfly adds to the beauty. We also saw a common purple sunbird. When we reached to the bottom of the staircase, we saw a white broad bulbul. We started walking on the trail and turned right into an open area. In the previous visits we had here, we, we saw brown fish owls uh, in the, on a tree in that open area. This area is known for two species of fowls, the brown fish owl and the mottled wood owl. We had never seen the mottled dwarf owl and that has been on my bird list for almost 5 years. This is the best place to see the mottled dwarf owl in Telangana. We had tried to search for it in previous visits but we had failed. As we entered the area, we saw birders near the tree of owls. One of the birders pointed towards the two mottled wood owls sitting on a branch far away. It had only been about 30 minutes since we started the trip and it was already successful. A crowd slowly began to form. Everybody wanted to see the mottled wood owls. And the mottled wood owls sat for a very long time. started to go to the other places in the forest and we saw a scenarius tit who wanted to be a woodpecker. And we also saw a common ayura. Anantgiri Hills is famously known for owls and nightjars. This is a place where nightjars are abundant but the tricky part is to spot them. You can just cross a nightjar and you won't even know. If you want to know more about nightjars, you can go and watch the video I made about them. The last time I saw a jungle nightjar was the first time I came to Anantgiri back in 2019. Since then, we haven't been able to spot it. This time, we went into the nightjar area. And as we entered, a birder came in and asked, Do you want to see a jungle nightjar? And I, I said yes. I do want to see a nightjar. It's been three years. So he takes us into the area and there's a small crowd of birders. And all of them were pointing towards a tree and there it was. The jungle nightjar. 
all of us got extremely good shots then from where uh, so then from there we headed towards the grasslands on the way we saw brahmini starling jungle babblers orange headed thrush and much more once we reached the grasslands we saw indian robins richard pipit We went back into the forest and saw an orange-headed thrush. At the end of the trip, we saw a flock of 30 plus woolly-necked storks. Overall, we had a fantastic trip. If you like this video, please like and subscribe and share it with all your friends.